Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. I hope you guys are all doing great. I've had a pretty good day today. I've got a lot done. So by the end of the day, when you just settle in, you kind of feel good that you've been able to accomplish a lot of things. So I feel good. And I hope you feel the same way. All right. So this one's odd. For some reason, I'm nervous about this reaction. I can't even tell you why. I've gone back and forth for weeks, literally, trying to figure out if I should react to this song or not. I've received emails. I'm not just talking about messages on my videos. I'm talking about emails both ways on this. Some people pleading with me to do this reaction and other people saying, you know, I've seen comments, don't bother, blah, blah, blah. So after thinking about this, um, I'm kind of, you know, I've kind of gotten, I'm hearing so much about it. I've kind of gotten at that why not stage. I'm not sure why this seems to have such strong um, reactions on both sides. But personally, especially being a lover of music, I'm all about freedom of expression. So um, I say, let's do this. What do you think? The artist is Ren and the song is Hi Ren. Sounds pretty safe to me. <laughs> so I'm going to get my headphones on. And finally, after way too many conversations on this song, we're going to see what this is about. How does that sound? All right, hold on. I'll be right back in just a flash. In fact, let's do this. Bam. There we go. Just like that, my headphones are on and the video picture is up. So here we go. The artist is Ren and the song is, hey, Ren, what's up? <laughs> okay, it's actually just hi, Ren, but I wanted to incorporate a little extra into that for some added emotion to a song. You just never know. So, okay, let's get into this. I see this is like a, a nine-minute song, so I'll try not to break too much. And uh, let's see what this is all about, shall we? Here we go. The pig butcher is an interesting <laughs> start to this. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a mental institution or something? Oh. I think those might be like nylon strings on his guitar. It's got that warmer, smoother sound to it. Wow. It's really beautiful playing. Yeah, I think those are nylon strings. Cool. I haven't even thought of them for a long time. I like this. Didn't really see that coming. It's got a high voice. Bro, I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd, not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program, rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate- Okay, let's stop real quick here I'm sorry um, I just want to kind of get my bearings on where I'm at where I'm at here So obviously this is like a Like an inner battle that he's facing within himself It seems like a pretty legitimate one, too The first thing that came to mind And this is the way my mind works 
um, when I started seeing this, I thought of the song by Pink Floyd called uh, Brain Damage, where in that song, they um, he's talking about, I think, the lunatic in his head or his mind or something like that. There appears to be two sides to uh, Ren, a calmer, maybe even slightly more rational side to him. And then there's this clearly um, an agitated side to him. And what's really cool is um, cinematically when the agitated side speaks do you notice that the lights and stuff were flickering that was kind of a cool effect i could be wrong but i don't think i saw it when the more calmer side i may not be describing that correctly but when the calmer side was talking i really didn't see the lights flickering i'll have to we'll keep going and i'll see if that holds true also when the uh, agitated side was singing or talking however you want to describe that the guitar strumming pattern even got quite a bit more aggressive um, from side to side so that was really really interesting so far and it looks like they may be tackling some kind of heavy subjects here of maybe mental illness so i can see now why people were um emotionally involved into this that makes sense all right let's keep going me, I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see, you gotta kill you if you wanna kill me, I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side, oh your music is thriving, delusional guy, where's your top ten hit, where's your interview with Oprah, where well, are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me that's enough, cause this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglect it, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done I kinda feel sorry for the calmer Eminem side did it, played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off It's the pinnacle of your success, it's healing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore Fuck you, I don't need uh, you, I don't need to hear this Looks like I'm he's getting myself. under his skin and I will be great and I will make waves and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it instead of downplay it uh, Music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you Ren Well fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it, who are you to doubt my music cause I call the shots I choose if you die Yeah I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside Newsflash, I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. This guitar playing. So hostile. I am you, you are me, I am you, Ren. Wow. And the lights flickering. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> the agitated side almost seems to be like mocking the more uh, rational side. I'm, I, I apologize if I'm not describing those two sides, but I don't know. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the cartoons where they would have the devil and the angel on each side of their shoulder, and they're arguing back and forth, and you're almost like watching in the middle, and you're kind of like at their mercy, like you got these two sides battling it out. And it's like you're kind of just sitting there waiting for the outcome. And that's um, 
kind of what I'm I'm seeing when I'm watching it. That constant battle is just wild. The one side seems to want to give up, while the other side maybe is a li little bit more optimistic, or at least an optimistic position. And that guitar playing, like I mentioned, really showed chaos at time it, at times it was really i think perfectly performed this is an incredibly interesting dialogue that he's having with himself i'm really enjoying this sorry i'm kind of stuck on my cord here so if i keep looking down that's why all right let's keep going this is really really quite interesting and dare i say even a little scary because you know this stuff gets real and he's really bringing up some truly real issues that I'm sure a lot of people are faced with. So let's keep going here. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. He's calm again. I've been again. taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope and you know if how this I know were a debate, prosper? he'd be winning right now. I stand here beside <laughs> you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain, and I didn't once flinch your shape. So cower at the man I've become Ooh. when I sing from the top of my lungs. I love that close up. I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a to different sides. Lyrically, this is amazing. Right back to the beginning. I like when things make full circle. reverb trail at the end if you have headphones you'd hear that it just really kind of stretched out oops i almost knocked this over when i was 17 years old i shouted out into an empty room into a blank canvas that i would defeat the forces of evil and for the next 10 years of my life i suffered the consequences with autoimmunity illness and psychosis as I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal mm. dance. I like that. Like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget we must not forget that we are human beings. Holy cow. See, he's mic'd up. All right, so... Wow, you guys. That was 
It was nine minutes, but it went like that. That was crazy. You know, when I first started listening to this, I thought, like, this is going to be one of those crazy kind of far out um, singers that just is just trying to push the envelope just to try to get a reaction. But this wasn't that at all. This was, I think, everything he did was necessary to show us his viewpoint on what we were talking about. Did you notice that um, after that breakdown that I think the more calmer person had, the cam I think that's when it was, the camera went ver from a very steady position, like it was on a tripod or something, to more like handheld because it was moving around. It's almost like things, that additional movement, because it was just like a handheld camera, almost made things, at least to me, become more genuine and realistic because that's the way things actually are we aren't always on this tripod showing the perfect shot it's just handheld that's me that's the way i am at least that's the way i took it then it's like he um, finally took a stand against this uh, agitated side and he said i'm going to take a stand or something like that then he literally stood up i love how that came together that's such a great representation of the moment and he said something. These words at the end were crazy good. And he said something at the end, I think, at least in my mind, really summed a lot of this up. He said it was psychological warfare. And I'm just kind of giving an idea what I remember. If I'm saying this wrong, I apologize. But he said this pendulum was swinging back and forth and there were no winners. Um, I'm not big at all on spoken word of course i was never big on acapella groups until you guys got me introduced to them but i've never big i was never big on spoken word but wow this was incredibly incredibly f powerful and he said that the battle was which really hit me kind of hard he said the battle was unwinnable and it was now there was just an eternal dance wow I think it kind of shows that with mental issues, maybe you don't always come out the winner, like he said, but it's kind of like um, like drug addiction or even just quitting smoking cigarettes. I've never been a smoker, but when I'm told, you always kind of live with it. And that maybe that's that his eternal dance that he's talking about. Wow. And his final recommendation of uh, something to like relax and soften and the dance will get easier. Little signs of hope, I think, are so important, and I think that really brought that home. This was, guys, this was an amazing video. Um, no disrespect to anybody that told me, don't bother with this video, but I think this was an amazing video with a uh, crazy good message. So let me get my headphones off. Let me kind of think about this, because, wow, this had a little bit of an impact on me. And um, I'll be back for my final thoughts. How does that sound? All right, hold on. I'm back. As always, for my final thoughts, wow, that was incredible. I didn't expect anything like this at all, and I'm actually really looking forward to after I'm done with this and going back and watching that again, because I'm sure I missed out on a lot, and I apologize if there were some blaring things that I didn't mention. But uh, let's summarize it. So, obviously, I have a couple questions I'm asking myself after watching this. One... I wonder if this was an actual live performance. I saw when he stood up, he was mic'd up. That could be for show, or he was actually mic'd up. Watching it, my gut feeling says that this was just a live performance. That, um, And it looks like he would have taken this and not many cuts, if not just one. Really amazing. The bigger question, though, is whether, and I think this is by far the most important, is whether or not he was singing from personal experiences like his own inner battles that he's dealing with or this song was just created to uh, raise awareness of mental health issues either way this was simply an amazing piece of art and he was flat out spilling his guts here his I, I, all i can say is it appeared so raw and so honest and definitely from the heart so with that said I'm going to say he's been dealing with a lot of these issues himself. It just, to me, seemed too 
real and not really made up. He addresses these significant major mental heart, heart mental health issues, and that's really important for so many reasons. I knew this was going to be interesting, but like I said, no one ever really told me why. And while watching this back and forth between the two sides was really just an amazing thing to watch. Honestly, I think he did really a skillful job in laying out how people often battle within themselves. I think both, um, I'll call them characters for lack of a better words, but I think both characters were truly believable and made sense what they were saying. Does that sound right? Do you kind of get what I'm saying? But bottom line, wow, uh, many people are going to relate to this song. Without a doubt. I've said that before in other songs. Anyone dealing with mental health issues, this this is going to strike a chord and a major one. And that's a really good thing. I'm sure this is just relatable to so many people in so many different ways. What a great song. I hope you like this. And um, to those who really kind of twisted my arm in painful ways to do this, thank you. I should have done this a long time ago. But like I said, I was getting kind of mixed um, versions of whether I should do it or not. So I wasn't quite sure, but I'm really glad I did because, man, now that I hear this, I was really missing out on something spectacular. So with that said, remember, <laughs> maybe this means more now than ever, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count, okay? Peace out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.